Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sweden's biggest football derby. So here we are at Friends Arena, where more than 45,000 friends have purchased tickets, which means it'll be a sold out crowd here to watch U Garden face AIK. Now, technically, both of these teams are from Stockholm, but AIK is the home team today, meaning Ivana and I will be cheering for AIK as a way to blend in with the rest of our section. Now it's a cold and windy day, so let's get inside. Maybe we can buy ourselves an overpriced 3% beer and get this party started. Let's go. Wow, absolutely massive stadium. We got three rows of seats all the way around. It's a triple bowl. And this is actually the national stadium also. And I guess now you can see this as the calm before the storm, because I think the energy level is about to rise coming in a few minutes here. So let's get ready for game time. Wow, what an introduction to the game here. So on our left, we've got the AIK Ultras, and on our right, we have the U Gordon Ultras. Seems like there's a bit of a competition for who can do a better choreography to start the game. I will give a slight edge to U Gordon because I for one love the flares. Let me tell you something, in North America, if you ever saw this much smoke, at a professional sporting event, I promise you everyone's going to jail. And that's the reason why you'll never see it in North America. And so it's an incredible atmosphere here. And if you can believe it, it's actually snowing right now. So you can barely see it on the camera, but it is a snowy and smoky beginning to the game here, which sort of impresses me that the grass looks like real grass to me. So despite the cold weather and the snow, the grass looks pretty good and it is not artificial turf. And so with all that being said, let's uh, let's get to the game here. Wow, what a good atmosphere. What a good introduction to the game. <laughs> the whole place smells like campfire or it smells like smoke. <laughs> oh, terribly unfortunate start to the game. It looks like the stretcher's coming on for one of the AIK players. I think he fell on his own accord. He wasn't tackled with the ball or anything. But within the first 20 seconds of the game, looks like a lower body injury, probably a knee or an ankle. Like he injured one of his ligaments trying to turn on the grass. Terribly unfortunate. And so, despite the unfortunate injury, the game must go on. Now, to my ears, it seems like the U Gordon Ultras are louder than the EIK Ultras. Although it's possible, it's just because we're sitting closer to the U Gordon fans. I am not an acoustics expert by any means. Oh! I tell you what, I wonder if the grass is not holding up too well in the weather. Because we've had a couple players slip on their kicks and the obvious injury to start the game. I wonder if the pitch is not... Uh, doing too well this early in the spring. I don't know, that's just uh, a guess for me. And so I tell you what, based on the first 10 minutes or so of the game, it seems like there are fans for both teams in our section. You guys know I'm from Canada where we do not have this type of sporting environment. So you read online that there's fist fights and there's all sorts of confrontation happening and so with that in mind Ivana and I chose to just cheer for the home team although I think we would have been okay to cheer for you Gordon because there are more than a few you Gordon fans in our section and it seems like everyone's getting along okay at least for the first half we'll see how things unfold <laughs> hey look at that the sun's coming out not bad the sun's coming out just as AIK turns on their flares <laughs> what a coincidence and so we've got another injury, unfortunately. But in the meantime, let me do my attempted Swedish translation. Hooligan Ultras, were you born in a barn? Now, I'm guessing they have that sign because you, Gordon, is known as the zoo or the animal farm. So I think that is a, a sign that mocks the other team. Although that was an attempted translation. I could be wrong. And so I tell you what, not that many chances either way just yet. I wonder how much the players are struggling with their really cold weather and potentially their really cold grass. Because it doesn't seem like a very fast game. Watch this! Oh! Woo! Maybe I spoke too soon. Let's uh, stay tuned and see what happens. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Wow. Great play. That might have been the best scoring chance of the game. And so it is officially halftime. Now, in here, away from the field, it's nice and warm. <laughs> I think because it's so crowded in here, yeah. the temperature is rising. Uh, I know this is a whiny complaint, but man, it's cold out there. It is freezing. I have to think oh if you're a player, gosh. certainly if you ask the players, what do you think about the temperature? They would say, no problem, I'm ready to win, I'm ready for anything. But I have to think if you're a player, you think this sucks. Inside, without yeah. admitting it, you think this sucks. I think it is hurting the quality of the football. I think the pitch is not great. Right. I think the players are just... Yeah, cold, everyone you know? is cold. It's really freezing <laughs> out there. So anyway, the fans are great. The atmosphere is trying to be good, but it's a little slow. Yeah. Woo! I don't I, know. I might even stay in here for 10 I more know, minutes. I'm, right? I'm not ready to go back out yet. It's so cold. Last now. week we were in Denmark. I got rid of my big winter jacket. I and know. now I got no jacket. I'm out here freezing. Oh, I didn't know. Oh. It's my fault. I take full responsibility. Bad but, luck um, with the weather. Anyway, I guess. hopefully we can get a goal in the second half. Yes. That should blow the retractable roof off this place. Because if not, I mean, my hands look like I'm 92 years old. They're red and wrinkly. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Second half, let's go. Time to score. <laughs> <laughs> Just find out. <laughs> so, the home team has scored. Yes. We didn't make it back to our seats, and we're not the only ones. Yeah. There's a nice TV here. You get some popcorn and a beer, and stay warm. The fans are <laughs> on the concourse. 1-0 uh, for the home team. All right. I think we should go back to our seats. Okay. I feel lame, but let's we don't go. have the right clothes I know. for this. We didn't expect this. Temperature. Okay, right. back to our seats. Let's go. All right, so we've made it back to our seats. And oh! AIK is attacking again. Oh! I look like a handball. Woo! That looked like a handball. Oh, I'll tell you what, the volume has definitely risen here in the second half. Both sides are getting very loud. Ten minutes of the game, which seems to be their attack. At least, whenever we're watching. <laughs> yeah. No, somebody, somebody jumped over the fence and was trying to get on the field. See what I mean? I don't know what that was, but the crowd noticed. I think there was a U Garden fan attempting to do streaking or something. I don't know what he was doing, but. Security handled it. And just in time for the end of the game. Oh, 
And so there you have it everybody, 2-0 for the home team. The players played great despite the weather and the fans were very lively. But I will admit, Ivana and I were not on our game. The elements got the better of us. So what we're going to do is we're going to regroup. We're going to get back to the drawing board. We're going to listen to our coach and we're going to come back stronger for next match. This is the second coldest football game I've ever been to. We did see one in Toronto, which we were wearing snow pants for. <laughs> but in the end, the next match is tomorrow. We'll be at a hockey arena in Finland. And if you can believe it, the hockey arena in Finland will be 15 degrees warmer than the football pitch. The world is upside down and backwards. But we'll see you guys on the live stream starting now. Later.